Hey guys, and welcome to the reading for today, which is going to be another crime hour. Now, I'm going to see what comes out, even though I do feel like there's still um, a message open from the last reading. I feel like there's more to that story. So, we're going to see what comes out here. Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. What is it that we need to bring out into the collective? What is it that you need us to know here about this crime that's going on? Yeah. Okay, you got the Nine of Cups. So we have the moon in reverse, we have the Hierophant in reverse, and then the Nine of Swords. So there is a, a secret that's coming out. There is something that's um, being brought to light here. This has something to do with some form of corruption. Some form of corruption. Now somebody is stressed out. Somebody's worried about this secret coming out. Somebody is in some form of anxiety and stress and worry. Now, tell me more about this moon in reverse here. Holy angels. Holy Spirit. Tell me why is the moon in reverse here? Holy Spirit. The Nine of Swords again. Somebody is very worried about this coming out. Three of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups re reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. So this has something to do with a group of people, but whatever this collaboration is, it's falling apart. Um, there's no friendship here. Now, somebody is feeling very unhappy at this time. Somebody's feeling very discontent. Somebody's very unhappy. Very unhappy. Somebody's very stressed out. Very discontent. The devil at the bottom. Tell me about the higher font reverse, please. Got a message and a tower. Yeah. And the magician. So somebody is receiving a message right now, which is leaving them feel feeling like everything is crashing down around them. Somebody feels like everything is falling apart around them. Somebody's world feels like it's falling apart. That's why somebody is so stressed out and so worried because somebody feels like their world is falling apart, but it has something to do with corruption and something that this person wanted with the magician. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords in reverse. So this has something to do with somebody that is speaking their truth. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air sign that is speaking the truth. This has this person worried and stressed out here. Empress in reverse. It could be a mother figure that you're dealing with, but this mother figure is, um, you know, this person is in reverse. So this person is not caring. This person is not nurturing. This person is neglectful and power hungry. And this person seems to be in worry about a feminine air sign here that's in the upright that is speaking their truth. And this has something to do with an air sign masculine, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the reverse. So this person is a criminal. This person is cold hearted, bitter, a pathological liar. Okay, so these people are now very stressed out, worried about somebody here that is speaking out. Speaking out, okay? Speaking some sort of truth. Or just, it could also have something to do with, I don't know, your intelligence. The fact that you're somebody that's very fair. You're very just. You say it how it is. The Queen of Swords is usually somebody that's a very logical, rational ruler, if you want to put it that way. Somebody that rules with their head over their heart. Did 
death and the ace of swords okay tell me about this group of people this three of cups that's falling apart here this group of people yeah there's there's heartbreak here within a group so a group of people feels heartbroken and betrayed right now so that's why they're falling apart yeah somebody is very sad and upset right now why are they so unhappy nine of cups reverse <laughs> because of the ace of swords and death because the truth causes a complete ending to whatever this was that what was going on here these people are very very unhappy about the truth because they know the truth brings in death the truth and mental clarity in a situation brings in endings and new beginnings it brings in transformation the truth will cut through all of the lies the truth will um bring clarity now this is what these people are, are unhappy about they're feeling discontent unhappy about the truth the truth bringing endings or causing an end end for them in some way so why is the high uh, the high priestess here in reverse the two of wands in reverse because now they feel like they've been blocked or they feel like they made a bad choice they didn't listen to their intuition about something now they made the wrong choice what choice did they make here that was the wrong choice Now they're trapped they've trapped themselves whatever choice that they made it was the wrong choice because now they've trapped themselves because they didn't listen to their intuition what is this truth that's coming out here with the ace of swords what is the truth that's coming out about an offer and the lovers in reverse so something some sort of truth about an offer that was made lovers in reverse Hmm, okay, we'll have to see what that is here. Now, what's this message that they're receiving here that's causing a tower? Something about the Two of Cups in reverse, so something about a relationship ending. There's no relationship between two people. Something about a breakup. A message about a breakup. What's the tower? with the king of cups so there's a there's a, a shocking moment that changes everything they're feeling defeated they feel like their whole life is falling apart because of a water sign masculine figure here this could be a cancer pisces scorpio there's some sort of a message about a breakup or about two people not being soulmates or not being together Why is this King of Cups having a tower moment? Chariot in reverse. So this could be a Cancer because some they've been defeated. They've been defeated in some sort of a way in their own corruption. Their own corruption has been defeated. That's why they feel like their life is falling apart. What were they trying to manifest here with the Magician? They were trying to manifest some sort of depression and sadness. What? Depression and sadness is what they were trying to manifest. Tell me more about the secret that was revealed, the moon in reverse. About a queen of cups. So there was a secret that was revealed about a water sign feminine a cancer pisces scorpio feminine figure could also be a mother figure with the with the queen of cups here so there's some there's something about a mother figure here with the empress and the queen of cups <clears throat> and there was a secret that was revealed about a queen of cups 
Okay. So why are these people so in, uh, why are they so worried here with the Nine of Swords? Why are they so worried now about something a Queen of Swords is saying? Because a Queen of Swords is defending herself. So you could be defending yourself here, speaking your truth, standing up for yourself. And this is leaving these people worried and stressed out. Okay. What did this um, King of Swords in reverse lie about? Lied about some sort of victory or lied about their reputation or lied to win, to win something here. Okay. Tell me more about what they did, the Hierophant Reverse, this corruption with these people. Fool in Reverse, they did something very foolish. They did something recklessly. They did something without thinking about it. It has something to do with making someone an offer. So they did something here without thinking about the consequences, they did something risky. They did something foolish. And now they've been defeated. And now they feel trapped because of the truth, okay? Let's see, tell me about the moon in reverse here with this queen of cups. What's this secret that came out about a main female? So there's some sort of secrets that have come out about a female, about a Queen of Cups, or about you and this Queen of Cups. Why is this person so stressed out, Nine of Swords? Why is this person so stressed out here? Because of sudden wealth in reverse. Okay, so it looks like a Queen of Cups um, figure here is worried and stressed out that they're not gonna be getting any money that they're not getting sudden wealth. This is what is keeping this person up at night and stressed and worried. Okay. What's the three of swords here? A main male. Okay, so this person was working together with a main male. I'm guessing it's this king of cups here. Working together with a main male to cause some sort of pain. Could even have been with a mature man. So what is the truth here? Ace of Swords. About a privileged lady. Truth about a privileged lady. What's the lovers in reverse? Despair in reverse. Hold on, I'm gonna get my other cards on that one. Mm-hmm, okay. What's the Eight of Swords? They're trapped because of an occupation. They made a bad choice about an occupation. Yeah, this has something to do with, because I was just getting that with lovers in reverse and the Ace of Cups. It's about the truth that somebody doesn't have lovers or there's no lovers, there's no collaboration or something like that. But they were trying to make someone an offer. This has something to do with an occupation. Now this person feels trapped. Now they feel trapped because of their own occupation maybe even. So either this is your occupation that this person is stressed out about, or it's something that they did regarding an occupation, or it's something um, that they might have done with their occupation, if this is still that same person that I was picking up on here, this, uh, this nurse, doctor, healthcare worker here. That's why they might be trapped as well. What's the higher font in reverse? The thief in reverse, yeah, so this thief has been exposed. They did something reckless here. They did something very corrupt. And I feel like not just legally corrupt, but also just morally corrupt, right? Something that is considered ungodly. 
unholy. This was risky. I'm getting, it was against, it was against God's will what these people did. It was unholy. Something they did was unholy. It was against God's will is what I'm getting strongly. What's the magician? Family room in reverse. So this, these people, they were trying to manifest that somebody's family room gets turned upside down, that, you're, that you lose your family, that you don't have family, that maybe your family, if you have children, they get taken away from you. They wanted you in depression. They wanted you to feel alone, sad, abandoned, like you have no one, right? So these people wanted your own family. So this could be your own family, like I said, with the embers in reverse, could be a mother figure. But whatever this is, what they were manifesting is that you don't have a family, that nobody in your family sticks up for you, that you get kicked out of the family, basically. You get kicked out of the family room. You don't belong in the family room. And they thought that if they kicked you out of the family, that you would be left behind, depressed, sad, alone, right? This is giving me that, you know, that expectation again that you sit in a corner and think, wah, no one loves me, right? That's kind of what they wanted for you. That's what they were hoping for anyways. Now, what's this page of wands here? A marriage. A marriage. So someone got a, a message about a marriage or from a married couple about a breakup, about there not being a relationship between two people. What? About a marriage or about a breakup? Why is the tower here? An official person. But now they've been defeated. There's everything's falling apart because of something official, somebody official. They feel defeated because of this, because of an official. Huh? Okay. Tell me more about the moon in reverse, please. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The moon in reverse, secrets coming out. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. So things are coming to light. Things are coming out. People are finding things out. The moon in reverse about a queen of cups. There are secrets coming out. Now this person is, why is this person here? Well, I know that they're upset because apparently they're upset. They're not getting some sort of sudden wealth. But what is this three of swords here? Yo, I can't even make it up. Stabbed in the back. So this is what they were planning. They were plan this whoever this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feminine doesn't have to be, but I'm I'm strongly getting that here. This person was working together with a main male because they were trying to stab someone in the back or in the front. Who knows, right? They were trying to stab someone. That's for sure. They were trying to deceive someone. They were trying to cause someone heartbreak and pain. What is this? Heartbreak and pain. That is what they were going for. It's literally the same card, okay? Heartbreak and pain. That's what these people wanted. That's why they're stressed out, working together with another person here to do this. So what's this Ace of Swords then, this truth here? The runner. The runner. Hmm? The runner, the truth. Someone has clarity about someone running away? Or maybe why you ran away from this family. 
Maybe somebody has truth and clarity about the fact that you were probably running away from these people for your life. Trying to save your own life. That's why you ran away. Save your own life from these people. You got death right after that. Tell me about death. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness. Passion. Yeah, once you found once you found out the truth, you knew you know the truth here. That's what that's what this is. These people are unhappy because you know the truth. You know what really happened. You know who these people really are and you know what they try to do to you, which is stab you in the back and betray you, right? Look at this. So you know what they were planning to do to you. You know that they were planning to hurt you, stab you in the back and probably even do worse to you, okay? So you ran away from these people for dear life. Dear life, you ran away from these people because you know the truth about them. You put a complete end to this, whatever this is, and you decided to love yourself. You transformed this, you ended this, you ended the relationships that you had with these people. And I feel like you decided to just love yourself. Right? These people wanted you to feel like you don't have family. They wanted you abandoned and exiled, right? Left alone and abandoned. And what did you do? You decided to love yourself. Yeah? But I also feel like these people, you know... This is another side to this, is that they just wanted to put an end to everything that you love. That was also kind of, you know, what they were going for, right? They wanted to put an end to everything that you love. But they couldn't because you ran away from them. So it didn't quite work out. What's the letters in reverse here? The snake. Yeah, you knew these people were snakes and you're like, I'm out of here. I don't want to work together with you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to collaborate with you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I'm out of here. You guys are snakes. And you, you saw the truth. You knew what they were trying to do. These people were trying to be clever. They were your enemies. They were trying to snake you. They were trying to stab you in the back. That's the worst thing about it. These people are not the kind of people that will say to your face that they have a problem with you or that they don't like you or that they're trying to hurt you or get you out of the way these are the these are snakes these are people that stab you in the back stab in the back means that somebody doesn't even see it coming somebody doesn't even see it coming you get stabbed in the back which means you're looking in a different direction not even realizing that the people that are closest to you are just waiting on that moment that they can ram a knife in your back while you're not even uh expecting it that's the worst part about this kind of betrayal. This is like Judas. These people were Judases in your life. And I don't even know why I just got that name, but that just popped into my fucking head. These people wanted to stab you in the back and betray you in a way where you didn't even see it coming. And these are people close to you. These people are snakes. But you saw the truth. Good for you. You felt somewhere in your soul that these people are trying to do something to you and you ran away for your life. Yeah. What's the Ace of Cups? Like, I swear, this, the Ace of Cups is going to be that these people came back around and wanted to make transcend an obstacle here. Yeah, they wanted to come back around here and have a new phase with you, transcend some sort of obstacle. You're like, I don't wanna have, I don't wanna be anywhere around you guys are fucking snakes. And here's what the snakes do, right? After, after you say, I don't wanna be around you, here's the snakes coming back in with another offer, right? They wanna act like they wanna transcend an obstacle with you. They wanna give you some sort of a confirmation. They wanna give you some sort of a, an offer here. They wanna be nice to you, generous and loving, but this is an illusion. This is only so that they can get close enough to you so that they can 
stab you in the back. It's just the same tactic over and over again. Yeah. It's because these people feel trapped. That's why they want to, that's why if they come back around, that's why they come back around. Because they feel blocked. They feel like they made a bad choice. Now they want to come back because now they feel bad. But they don't feel bad because of what they did to you. They only feel bad because they're not getting some sudden wealth. And they feel trapped because you caught them trying to stab you in the back? Or what is this shit? Something with an occupation. So why do these people feel trapped now? Because you make healthy choices in your life. So your healthy choices in love and life is self-love, self-care, and saying, I'm going to stay away from people that I know are trying to do me harm. I bet they didn't expect that one, huh? I bet they didn't expect that one for you to say, I'm going to make the healthiest choice. And the healthiest choice is that I'm going to cut people out of my life that I know are not good for me. Even if it's family. Sometimes you realize your family is really fucking toxic and then you have to cut them out of your life. And that's a healthy choice. That's making a healthy choice for yourself, for your own peace, for your own life, for your own boundaries, okay? Because sometimes people don't want what's best for you. Sometimes even family members only keep you around because they can use you. Because they want something from you. Because they're trying to fool you in some sort of way. Because they, they want power over you, control over you. They want... They, it's weird, okay? Some family dynamics are not healthy. That's just the way it is. It's like just because someone is your family doesn't automatically mean that they are a healthy choice for you to be around, right? So you started making healthy choices in your life. And you said, I'm going to take care of me. Okay? And now these people feel trapped because of your choices. Even maybe something to do with your occupation. What's the higher font reverse? Photographs. So these people did something ungodly, unholy, against God's will morally corrupt spiritually corrupt legally corrupt with photographs with photographs these people took a risk they took a stupid stupid risk foolish risk with photographs ungodly is what they got this like usually this is corrupt i keep getting ungodly unholy what they did foolish very foolish and stupid because they got caught for being thieves yeah so tell me about this page of wands here oh ah now i get it uh, here's this little fake witness, right? This King of Cups. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, so there's... Somebody sent someone a message either claiming that you had a one-night stand with them or they were trying to get you to get a mess, or they were trying to send you a message because they wanted to have a one-night stand with you, one or the other. But I keep... I'm getting this feeling that, honestly, because the Two of Cups is in reverse... It's like somebody sent a message or claimed in a message that they had a one night stand with you, but actually there's, there's no relationship there. You don't know this either. You don't even know this person or you don't have a relationship with this person at all. This might even be someone that you have broken up with in the past. How fucking weird is that? Like what the fuck is wrong with these people, right? But whatever. So somebody claimed that you had a one night stand with them or something like that. But they lie because the Two of Cups is in reverse, so there was no relationship there. There was absolutely no relationship there. And now this King of Cups, who I'm assuming is the one that lied, is now having a catastrophic moment where everything in his life is falling apart because he's been defeated about something here. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this tower moment, please. With this official person. Not enough. This person sabotaged themselves. They sabotaged themselves in a way. 
self-indulgence because they were way confirmation because they're way too selfish this person was very selfish acting out of wounds uh -huh. what's the man of swords So these people are very stressed out because of a date. Because of planning and setting a date. Dating, get back out there. These people are freaking out, worried and stressed out and nervous because they were probably trying to set you up on a date. To what? For someone to have a one night stand with you? Against your will? This would not have been consensual if someone is trying to plan, set a date where someone is lying about having a one night stand with you or whatever. And there's a group of people that did something ungodly, unholy with um, photographs, okay? And now they're all worried, stressed out. You got the nine of swords here twice. Um, the moon in reverse. People are scared, worried, upset, frightened because of a date. Because you defended yourself. You defended yourself against going on a date with someone or meeting up with someone that you don't know. That's weird, right? Tell me about this Empress Reverse, please. Yeah, this is someone that you do not have um, a union with. Etern There's no eternity here. This person was not, you know what I'm getting with this? This person was not loyal to you at all. If this was a mother figure, there's no loyalty there. No partnership. No feeling of eternity or, you know, partnership for life. There was no loyalty with this person here at all. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse. Healing Heart in reverse. Yeah, this person didn't want you to be healed this person didn't or they lied about you being healed this person lied about you being healed they said you're not healed from heartbreak you're not free from toxic relationships or addictions and this is what they this is what they lied about because they thought that they would win mm -hmm. okay Why is this why is this tower here for keys on a ring and the king of cups? Cuz this was a plan cuz they planned something. Cuz they pl this was a plan. So they were planning on having you have a one night stand with someone. This is if in the future. This was what they were trying to get to here. Wow. Yeah, this was going to be the stab in the back, right? How disgusting. Can you imagine that your own family is planning on how someone they can have someone come in RAPE you against your will? How fucking disgusting is that, right? Whatever. So what's the moon in reverse, please? Theft. So there's secrets coming out about them being thieves. That's why thief is in reverse. So things are coming to light about them being thieves, okay? And a queen of cups here. And a weapon. And some, that something was falsified or fabricated. Something was falsified or fabricated. That's what's coming to light. Why is this person so worried about money here? I mean, like with all the shit that this person has gotten themselves into, this is what they're worried about. This is what they're stressed out about. They're not getting money. So here's a, here's a, little, here's a little puzzle, right? How do you spot a narcissist? How do you spot a fucking idiot who only cares about money? Someone that is stressed out and worried about not receiving money instead of the fact that they were trying to stab someone else in the back and committing 
a fuck ton of crimes while doing it, right? So that's how you can spot a narcissist. Um, oh, they, so these people were saying that you are what? Addicted to certain things here? Mm -hmm, that you have addictions, right? Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in reverse. So somehow you having addictions has something to do with them being able to get money here. Oh, yeah, oh, this is what it's about here. Look at this. Okay, that's funny, right? That's funny that those come out together. So that's what this person is worried about, that first of all, this is coming to light, that this is a fucking lie, okay? The second thing is that they hired a hitman. That's what they're stressed out about and worried about, is that they probably hired a hitman to get some sudden wealth and then what, it didn't happen? Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Gambling. Yeah, they took a risk here, that's for sure. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords, please. Oh, they took a risk with some virus or malware, okay. And a betrayal. So they're worried about the fact that they betrayed someone here. That's what they're stressed out about. <laughs> no, there, there's, there's a confirmation. No, it's about money. That's what they're stressed out about. It's about money. And something at a hotel. Okay. They're stressed out because this person did whatever they did. They did so much to get sudden wealth. And now they're not getting it. Okay. Like other that you can tell, like I can tell just from those two cards that someone does not value human life at all because right after somebody being stressed out for about sudden wealth, you get these two. Whoever this is does not give a fuck about human life. All they care about is money, okay? So tell me about these three of swords here. A catfish, so they were trying to catfish you here. Something to do with cash and the, 20, and the 27 club. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Something in Europe, gossip and slander, and a cult. Tell me more about the, the, the Three of Cups in Reverse, or the Three of Swords, excuse me. What is the Three of Swords here? That's how they were gonna stab you in the back. Tax evasion. I'm telling you, they were gonna stab someone in the back by having them sexually assaulted, okay? Disgusting. That's how somebody wanted to cause someone depression, heartache, pain. How disgusting. I mean, this is not just a setup, this is also what I'm getting is this is about torturing someone else. These are the kind of people that like torturing someone. That's sick, isn't it? How sick is that? Um, tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse, please. DNA. South America. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse, please. Intoxication setup, a narcissist setup. This was a this was a setup of a narcissist exactly to have you intoxicated. Exactly, they were trying to get you intoxicated. This was a setup, and like I said, this person is a narcissist. So these narcissists were trying to get you set up. They were trying to get you intoxicated. They were trying to snake you and stab you in the back. But you knew the truth about them trying to set you up and do something to you, okay? And so you fucking ran away from them because you knew you were running for your life. I'm not even kidding. So it's 
because they stole this. Tell me about the lovers in reverse, please. An affair. So they were going to try and have someone have some sort of an affair with you. Yeah, they wanted someone to come and sleep with you. This was premeditated. This plan was premeditated to have you sexually assaulted. So fucking sick. Tell me about there's because of a contract. No, you know it was premeditated. This. Your death. That was what was premeditated. Oh, not just um, having someone rape you and torture you, but also then get rid of you afterwards, right? So tell me about death. That one just fly down. Oh my God. What else do you want me to say about that one, huh? What else do you want me to say about that? So it was a premeditated death and sexual assault. Oh, this is how they wanted to do it, huh? This is how they wanted to do it. Sabotage. See, that plays into them, you know, lying about you having addictions, telling everybody that there's something wrong with you, right? Because what they actually wanted to do was get you intoxicated. Then they were going to do something with you here. And then after they were done, they were going to OD you and just make it look like an accident, right? But this was actually premeditated murder. And my yes card just confirmed that to me. Thank you, holy angels, for that one. Okay. So tell me about this two of wands reverse, please. Information. They're blocked because of some sort of information here. Information about them coming out about a document. Mind control. Information about a document. What do you mean information in a document? About theft. And about this. Huh? Information about a document and that in an offshore account? A bank account or a backfire. Something's backfired on them. Some sort of an account has backfired on them. Something that was linked to the green stuff. Tell me more about this backfire here, please. Person, person. Tell me more about this two of wands reverse or this document. Something with an inheritance? Something about an inheritance? The law. Something they gave the law. They gave the law some sort of a document. Something from a computer or a laptop. Something about sexual assault. So they have they have made a bad choice because they gave the law something. Some sort of information here from a computer or a laptop and something about an account. But that was a bad choice that they made. Why was this a why was this a bad choice? Because of a contract and because of because something was sabotage. 
Why was this a bad choice that they made here? Because of a gang and because of a trafficking gang? Why are they trapped here with the Eight of Swords? Because of money laundering. Why are they trapped here, Eight of Swords? Because of a transfer, because of a money transfer. So they're, because of health insurance and stocks and trading because of the truth. Now they're trapped because of something to do with an account here or something like that. Some sort of tra some sort of money transfer and some sort of trafficking gang. Now they might not have realized that they were going to be that something was going to be looked into or something like that or that something can be traced back to them. So they might have been trying to make something look like it's you this whole time, but it can be traced back to them. Maybe they didn't realize this, who knows. They gave something to the law, some kind of a document. What is this document that they gave to the law? What is this document that they gave to the law? Something about you being intoxicated and something about you being a prostitute. So this document might be some sort of like a fake false statement or something that they made claiming that you are someone that's an intoxicated prostitute. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that was stupid of them, huh? Because that doesn't, warning. Okay, so they tried to make you look like you're an intoxicated prostitute. That's funny. Um, all right. And now they feel trapped because of, because they couldn't finish their plan. So here's the thing. They might have already told the law and you know all this fake evidence and uh, fabricated whatever right the the grand finale what i'm getting would have been that they trap you get you to come to some location after they catfish you right do something to you there but that never happened they weren't able to set you up they weren't able to trap you So sick. So tell me about this Hierophant Reverse, please. Secret. Secret spells. And a love spell. Spell, spell, secret? What? What is the Hierophant Reverse? Bankruptcy. And hacking. Ah, oh, hacking, yeah. So what they did was they hacked into your shit and got photos of you, or got, I don't know, whatever they got here, hacking. Whatever they did, it was ungodly. Hacking and photographs. It was a setup. This was a setup. Or they had to set you up after, um, afterwards because everything that they were doing with this hacking, these photographs, was um, illegal and it was linked to them, okay? But they needed to set you up, right? Something with a prescription. Set up with a prescription threat. About this set up with this prescription, please. Yo, I swear to God. This is what just... Tell me about this. Set up with a prescription, please. A trap. 
a trap. They were trying to trap someone here. Your confidence and your sat. This has something to do with your confidence and your Saturn return. Tell me more about this setup trap with a prescription, please. It was to cause your death. It was to cause your death. Something about your blood. Something about something being in your blood. A prescription. Yeah. Something about what is what would be in your blood whenever you pass away and then um, is like found in your blood work or something like that, like a toxicology report after death. That's what it was about. If they needed to get you out of the way, it had to do something with this to make it look like you did it to yourself. What's the magician please here? Fame. What's the magician? A hitman. Oh yeah, here you go. Falsi falsified or fabricated addiction. Yeah, so they, like exactly what I just said. They needed to make it look like a hitman wasn't a hitman. They needed to make it, uh, it look like it was an addiction. They were trying to figure out how to put a hit on someone's life, take them out, Okay, but make it look like it's an addiction that took them out. This is how can we kill someone and get away with it? Basically, that's what these people did here. That's what they were trying to manifest in here with this magician. They were trying to manifest. They were trying to figure out how, did they, how they can spin an illusion. How can we make a hit on someone's life? How can we make someone's death? look like with the magician magic ooh, illusions how can we make it look like this person died from some sort of an addiction that's what this is here right what's the page of wands something on a phone ah some so some yeah so there's some sort of phone messages here with the page of wands that have been documented okay so some fabricated phone messages about some sort of a one night stand here have been documented, okay? So fake fabricated text messages have been what, turned in here, stalking. Yeah, these people are fucking stalkers. They are fucking weird ass creeps. Credit card, something with a credit card. Tell me more about this page of wands here, one night stand page of wands. Call or text, yo, I'm, I'm telling you, cyber stalking. Call or text. So they were creating some weird calls or texts, or they, they might have even been texting you, like I said, but not because you knew that someone was trying to have a one night stand with you. These are catfish. People were trying to catfish you, trying to get you to come to some weird locations, trying to come to your house. This is the same shit. These people were stalking you, stalking you, harassing you, terrorizing you gang stalking you for months for months people were sending you weird calls texts trying to get you to come to some location some hotel some where the fuck ever because they were just trying to get someone to have sex with you they were going to try to have someone sexually assault you let's just put it that way because these people are fucking crazy privacy invasion yeah these people were invading your privacy over and over and over again, harassing, gang stalking. That, that's what this is here. It is now backfiring on these people. Thank God. What's backfiring on them? Holy angels. The law. The law is now backfiring on them. Something about your balance or something about balance. Balance is being brought back into a situation now. Because of receipts. Something to do with receipts? You might have receipts about these people planning to do something to you or continuously 
harassing you, stalking you, uh, texting you, trying to call you, trying to get you to come to weird places. You might have receipts. You might have uh, screenshotted all of these messages here. Yo, catfish wanted to just come out. I swear to God. I swear to God here. This is a cult. This is a cult that was doing this to you. What's this tower here? Archangel Metatron, what is this? What is the tower? A breakup. A breakup. Love breakup. Love breakup. What the fuck? Did they? I swear, did somebody say they were together with you? What the fuck? Warning. Break up love. Okay. What was I saying? Two of cups reverse. It's like, what is this? What is the tower? IP address. Cash. Cash at a club. Cash at a club and an address. What? Hold on. Let me get all of these cards back in here for this one. This is kind of funny now. This is, it's actually funny how far these people went to like lie, right? To make shit up. These people live in like another reality or something like that. I don't know. It's so fucking crazy how far they went, right? So tell me about this tower in your Holy Spirit. Paying, paying escort. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm sorry. This is so funny. Paying escort. Look at this shit. Paying escort. Paying escort. That's their alibi. What the fuck? Paying escort alibi? So they claim that they were paying you because you're an escort. They claim that they're having a one night stand with you. Uh, this is this fake witness again, right? This is this fucking idiot that probably got paid to say all this shit about you. That you don't even know about here. This is somebody, this is either someone, look, it says the Middle East on here, but what I was actually getting, this could be just somebody that has like dark skin, okay? Whoever this King of Cups is, this person could have dark skin or brown skin, or this person could be from the Middle East. Surveillance, attack. So this person from the either from the Middle East or someone that just has dark skin lied about paying an escort, paying you as an escort or something like that on a phone here, cyber stalking you. <laughs> something on a phone. They lied about some sort of messages on a phone. So basically they texted themselves back and forth, right? They just put your pro they just put your picture in the profile picture and then they ran to the police and said, Oh look, this witness, I can't even <laughs> They pretended to be you, okay? They pretended to be you, and then this person pretended to be a witness and was like, Oh yeah, I slept with this person. This person's an escort. Meanwhile, here, this person never never ever 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 ever. They're a fucking liar. That's why the tower is here, because they're a fucking liar. It's a secret offshore account, a secret offshore account, a secret offshore account, or a secret account, a secret account, a secret account offshore, uh, a secret account. It's, an, it's a social media profile. Prostitute. Yo, I cannot even. It's a prostitute. It's, you know what I think it is? Look at that shit. OF account, man. They were trying to say that you're a prostitute. And this is what they were doing with photographs. These people were trafficking you online. Handlers, okay? And then here they have some fucking dumb fuck of a witness here that is probably bribed to come around and say, Oh yeah, I, had, I was messaging with this person that I was gonna have sex with them, right? Fucking idiot. Fucking idiots. Look, I even split it on this. How much did you get paid, man? 
How much did you get paid to help here? This is revenge. Yeah, somebody was trying to get revenge on you. But why does this person now feel defeated here? Chariot in reverse. Why do they feel so defeated now? Because they were hacking into your shit. Computer or laptop. Or because of their computer or laptop. Catfish, yo, I just split it on catfish because they were pretending to be you. They were pretending to be you online and then they were pretending to be someone else to catfish you. Tell me more about Chariot in Reverse. It's a cult. I'm telling you, these people are in a fucking cult. Oh, you're saying no. Tinder swindler. Tinder swindler. They're feeling defeated because of something on Tinder. Tell me more about the Chariot in Reverse here. Because of documents, it came out again and a credit card. Documents and a credit card. Why are they feeling defeated about a credit card? Because of hacking? Because of sold their soul because they sold something. And a credit card. What do you mean they feel um, defeated because of a credit card? Yo, because of this. What? Tell me more about why they feel defeated now because of, a, because of a credit card. Catfish, yo, I'm telling you. Cyber stalking. The Middle East witness. Yo, this is this person here. This person, this... Either it's a Middle Eastern witness or it's just a dark-skinned witness. A dark-skinned witness. Brown-skinned witness. Cat, uh, confirmation. This person is dark-skinned. And this person claimed something about a catfish and an, an escort that you were selling yourself. But why is credit card here? Trafficking. So is this person in sexual assault? Yo, I'm telling you. Did this person implicate themselves because they paid for something here? Privacy invasion. And a prescription. There's something to do with a credit card. Intoxication. There's something to do with a credit card, a bank account, something like that. This has something to do also, not just with the with the with them trafficking you, but also with this. That's why they feel defeated. Why do they feel defeated? Because they used a credit card for... No, you're saying no. That's not why they feel... Defeated. Then tell me more about this credit card, please. A fake profile. It's because of this, this whole setup was based on a fake profile and it was a trap and they're trying to trap you. That's what everything is about at the end of the day is this was, they were literally just trying to trap you. They had fake profiles pretending to be you and there's something to do with a credit card. Whatever. Let's see, what is uh, this nine of swords here? Or why is this official person here? I wanna know, why is the official person here? Gambling, why is this official person here? They gambled something with an official person alone. Gambling loan? Exposed? Exposed gambling loan? Huh? So they've been exposed to the police because of a gambling loan?
Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this official person. This trap. Bank account, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So they something about a bank account. They've been exposed to official people like law enforcement because of a bank account. A bank account and a loan. Why are they exposed because of a bank account? What were they doing with the bank account? A narcissist was doing something with a bank account. At this point, it's hard to tell which one, right? Backfire. This backfired the fuck onto them. Okay, so they tried, this is back to the, you know, murder comes out right here. See that? Sabotage. Stocks and trading and... So a bank, uh, a bank account has now, warning, a bank account has now backfired onto them here with, with the officials. Yeah, they tried to bind this to you here, a deal. They were trying to bind this bank account to you. I've been getting readings like this for months and weeks of people trying to give you money, trying to tie some sort of a money trail to you. They're, they are the ones that are now bound to this bank account. Cash, I'm telling you, man telling you because of some sort of cash they were trying to bind the cash to you mind control to control other people's minds and yours something with an ip address okay tell me about this nine of nine of swords please they're now they're worried about dna dna or about just evidence here and a and a setup to and a setup, a, this, a death setup. A death setup, which would have been you going on a date with someone or meeting up with someone that you didn't even know. But you defended yourself. You did not go wherever these people wanted you to go. You did not take that client. You did not answer that email. You did not answer that person that was acting fucking weird trying to get you to go somewhere and you didn't go they could not get you to go on a date with some random stranger okay well tell me about this empress in reverse here deal so this this mother figure here was making deals with others help uh, so this person was working together with others, making deals because they needed help fulfilling this plan, right? To get you out of the way. This person might drink a lot of alcohol. Tell me more about the Empress in reverse, please. Call or text, yeah, court. They needed help for something for court. So they hired someone, okay? Who knows how many people this person hired. Because they needed help sending you some calls or texts like a catfish. It's a whole operation. They needed help with their operation. Operation court, right? Tell me about this uh, queen of swords here. They wanted to make you a ritual. They wanted to sacrifice you. Yeah, this person wanted to sacrifice you. And they wanted to vandalize you. This is so gross for fame. Ah, they made so they made you a ritual sacrifice for fame, right? Nice. Nice. They were gonna sacrifice you for their own for their own win. To win. For their own reputation, for their own uh victory here. They were gonna make you the sacrifice. Yeah. Tell me more about this King of Swords reverse here with an offshore account. There it is again, offshore account. And an escort, ah, okay, so it's this account here, this OF account, right, OFF, OFF account, escort. That's how they wanted to sacrifice you, right, by trafficking you. There's receipts, there's receipts that they were doing something here on the black market. Artwork. 
with artwork or with your work or with credit cards uh, with credit cards nice okay and a computer or a laptop so whatever they were doing online it can be traced back to them this account whatever this account is it can be traced back to them yeah trafficking this trafficking account that they were using here Oh, and the viruses and the malware and something about documentation. So they were they were hacking into your shit. Or the vi or maybe the virus and the malware can be traced back to them. Who knows, right? I don't even know how that stuff works, but some kind of a document. There's some kind of a document. What what is this document that keeps coming out? Something about a club. Club pictures? Lying. They're lying about they're lying about pictures. They they lied about pictures. Pictures of you. Debt and a scam. Yeah, okay. Is there anything else that the collective needs to know about this one? Emails. Something about emails. Graveyard, yeah, this is where they wanted to put you in the graveyard here, this cult. Using emails to do it. Black market. That keeps coming out. Avoid, yeah, avoid these people. What else? Avoid these people, avoid a, a witness. There's a witness that's a copycat. A witness and a copycat. So there's a fake witness and then there's also a copycat. Someone pretending to be you. So there's someone that's pretending to be you and then there's a fake bribe paid witness that's pretending they talk to you or something stupid like that. Yeah, because this is organized crime, I'm telling you guys. It's, oh, and this was the goal here, of course, right? This was organized crime. This was an organized plot to get you out of the way. Okay, yes, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it on that one. Yes, this was an organized plot to get someone out of the way. This was an organized plot to get someone out of the way. Yeah. So let's see here, anything else? Who is involved in this whole thing here for the collective today? Who's involved in this? Holy angels. A witch. An earth angel. <laughs> An earth angel is involved in this. That's who they did this to, probably. September. Somebody could be born in September or something happened in September. A Leo could be involved in this. A Leo and an Aquarius. An Aquarius could be involved in this. Oh, an Aquarius could be an accomplice to this whole situation. A sociopath. Oh, okay. So we got an accomplice that's also a sociopath. This person could be a cancer. There's an investigator that's involved in this. There's somebody that's born in July that's involved in this. A lawyer is involved in this and somebody that's born in June is involved in this or something that happened in June a baby daddy so you could have a baby daddy that's born in June that's involved in this a religious leader could be involved in this okay the police is involved with a Pisces or there's a Pisces that is connected to the police and the military April, somebody could be born in April or something happened in April. In December, okay. And somebody's boyfriend could be born in December or something happened in December. And a Virgo at the bottom of the deck. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, thanks for watching and then I'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye.